I have been using this Jackery E300 for about over a year now, and I think it's time for me to do a um, complete review on this unit, as I think it is very reliable and handy and super lightweight. There's no fuse to replace. Let me show you what I mean. If you connect a very high power consumption device like a hairdryer, it will stop. And all you gotta do is to turn it off and turn it back on again. And of course it will stop again. So it will not burn any internal components. My whole desk is running on the Jackery Explorer 300 right here. You can see I'm drawing 194 watts of power constantly. It has no problem driving my entire setup. There's nothing in the back and vents on both sides. So the lightweight part comes to, really comes down to a trade-off you have to make is that the large AC power brick you have to carry. I don't even know where it is now because I never use it. I would highly recommend you use the same USB Type-C port for charging and discharging your laptop. Uh, for charging itself, plug in a USB Type-C cable and get a decent 65 watts charger. Here I'm using a BASIS 65 multi-port charger and connect to its Type-C port. You will see the power input. So there's a nice display here in the, in the center that shows you the power output and input. I'm gonna power off all the ports. It's taking in 51 watts. Here I'm consuming 56. So there's a bit of conversion loss, which is expected. And the same port can be used for charging laptops. Uh, I will show you in just a second. And first of all, let's go over all of its uh, functionalities. So the display button would enable this screen. And the backlight will stay on for about 10 seconds, then it will go off. I wish this, the, this uh, really timer can you know, extend a little bit. The DC port is, um, the DC button here controls this socket, the 12 volt socket, where you can plug in any 12 volt, volt appliances, such as the additional chargers to expand the U USB ports here, because you only have three one type C and two USB type A. One is QC3 rated, which can do over 18 watts, I think. The five volts, 2.4 uh, 2, 2 amps. All right, and AC outlets, you get two of them, but there's nothing preventing you from adding more to this power strip. You can con connect additional power strip as long as you keep the continuous uh, watts under 300 watts that's important however it can still handle way over that at a uh, longer duration than any of these uh, compact battery banks i have ever used it handles 350 actually uh at uh i think at least uh 30 seconds or more i have never pushed it to the limit yet so my standing desk has a dual motor it can sometimes do 350 without any issue. Okay, let's do a quick laptop charging test. I would highly recommend you use um, the Type-C port DC output here instead of using AC. I have to enable the AC port. Uh, I'm sorry, don't have to enable the AC port, but you have to enable the USB port in this section. Press once, you'll get a green light outputting 58 watts but the laptop can actually do 140 watts if i disconnect this is a macbook pro 16 inch from 2012 21. i surely should reverse it but um, that would preventing us from uh, seeing the screen so it's it's gonna take um it is charging right now. I'm th okay, I forgot to enable the AC port. So press once. 
the output is going to be displayed on top. And it will take in 140 watts. I can't plug in additional uh, um, AC devices. So uh, unless you absolutely have to do this, always use the DC port. That's my advice, as it's gonna be more efficient when you have limited power supply. Well, this is what you gotta do. And uh, mean meanwhile, I'm gonna show you it can actually do pass-through charging, which means it can be used when you are uh, discharging other device. See here? I'm charging the Jackery using the 65 watts power strip and you can see the input is 57, 50, actually 63 watts now. Although it is not recommended uh, due to the heat concerns, I think it may, may increase the heat, especially in the summer, but it is doable. You can theoretically hook up a solar panel here and charge this um, battery bank when you are discharging. So um, I use it as a buffer so you can uh, theoretically use this laptop in the sun um, and fully powered by the sun. That will slightly offset at least 60%, but when it's fully charged, it's not gonna drain that kind of output. So it will be around maybe 30, 30 to 40 watts, uh, depending on the computer's load. Uh, you are actually gonna uh, recharge the battery slowly in the sun if you pair it with a uh, solar panel after the laptop is fully charged. Yeah, and of course, when you are charging under in the sun, you're gonna use the USB Type-C output, which is gonna be slower for MacBook 16 inch 2021, but it will um, be more efficient instead of running that AC inverter inside. I believe it is a pure sine wave inverter. Yeah, it is pure sine wave. Uh, yeah, like I said, you can plug it in a lot more USB, USB um, adapters to the 12 volt socket. Uh, this is a really cool device. I, I highly recommend it, very reliable. Like I said, it's been a year uh, and <laughs> works fantastic. These are two of uh, four rubber pads. The specifications at the bottom. Fifty-six watts. A yeah, really cool device. I love how compact it is. It it is probably the uh, most compact battery pack of its class. Uh, classic design. I'm really impressed by its reliability, especially when it's exceeding that three hundred watts. Uh, as I uh, mentioned before, for my standing desk, this thing handled it like a champ. For I have tested many 300 watt hour battery banks in the past, and this is the only one that would stand up to the test. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. Hey, my whole desk is running on the Jackery Explorer 300 right here. I have a massive dual motors under the standing desk and this one handles the desk and dual monitors and laptop like a champ. Let me show you a few more details. And um, it, I've, I've done a lot of testing on these smaller battery stations like this and the Jackery, Jackery is one of the uh, most reliable one um, as it never cuts off on this uh, desk setup. A lot of smaller ones would just simply shut off or reset uh, on a higher load, more than 300 watts. 
and it, it will even handle 350 watts peak output. And also it features, uh, let me raise the desk up again and explain. Uh, I have one AC uh, power strip connected under my desk, which is um, again connected to another power strip to my laptop and the dual monitors, a 27 inch Dell and a 1080p um, uh, uh, monitor, vertical monitor here. It also has a dual USB-A and a Type-C input. And this Type-C 60 watts rated input output is also, can also do recharge at the same time. Uh, you also get the charging brick, but usually I'll just use the Type-C for recharging this battery bank. Uh, all these um, DC, AC, and USB powers are controlled using their individual power switch by one press of a button, you'll be able to power things on and off. You get a really nice display here to check the battery status, the percentage, and the power consumption in real time, and the power input. It can also be used, uh, it can also be used when you're charging, recharging the, the battery station, um, which is called pass-through charging, so, which means you can use connect to a solar panel and keep things charged uh, under the sun. So this is the 100 watts solar panel from Jackery. I think I may do a follow up review on this one. It's a really cool unit. Um, yeah, but uh, the timeout of the display screen here is a bit short, around 10 seconds you will lose the back light. But uh, other than that, than that, I don't have any complaints. It's a really solid product to, um, with a huge power output. And the, you, you optionally have the 12 volt socket here to power your um, car related appliances uh, rated at 120 watts. You can uh, insert a for example, a car charger adapter to further increase the capabilities of this battery station to have more USB ports. You can also power a DC fan. Uh, so here's the thing, you, if you use uh, this battery bank, uh, try to use its uh, USB or DC power output whenever possible. For example, use the power delivery port to charge the laptop. So it's not gonna be go th going through that a DC to AC conversion and uh, there will be a conversion loss. So it will be less efficient if you use it to charge your laptop using the AC power. So always use the power delivery port if you have a modern laptop like a MacBook or a, any other like Dell uh, that supports power delivery, type C power delivery. And you really don't have much to it. Uh, it's, it's just a really compact power station. Uh, all the controls and functionalities are right here in front. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful. Again, it has no problem driving my entire setup right here. Thanks.